All right, now let's head down into the waters. Um, if the quality isn't quite as good on this video, that's because I'm uploading one to YouTube as we speak. Um, I tested this and it didn't seem to have an effect on it, so hopefully there will be no noticeable difference between them. But most of this area is in water, and this area is actually one of the bigger ones in the game. I think it might be the biggest area in the game. I'm not sure, I've never really tried comparing the actual sizes of the different areas. I just know I spent tend to spend a lot of time here compared to the others. So don't want to get dragged down there. It sucks. Cause then you have to come back. Now, up here is the plasma gun, but you can't get it until you actually beat the boss of the area. So, we'll have to come back here. This plasma gun's nice. It's strong, strong, strong. And, yeah, we like strong guns, don't we? And if I could just stop sucking at wall jumping, I could get over here. I think this is where I need to go. <clears throat> Whee! That just showed a whole bunch of the other parts of the level. Now, that is the only thing about this. I do not know this area nearly as well as any of the other areas in the game, so I might spend more time here than elsewhere. I don't think I can get through that yet. I hate this area. It's so annoying. You don't actually die in this stuff. It does no damage. And it doesn't actually pull you under. It's just annoying to get through. Finally, Jesus. I hate those quicksand areas in this level. See, here's another one. This one's not as bad, just because... Well, I say that as I sit here and fall into stuff. Ugh. Alright, hopefully there's no more. So, hey, another already broken tube. Let's see here, where's... Map station! Yeah, see, this is a pretty big area. And there's the boss over there. Yeah, I forget how to work, how this area works, so I might be spending some time here. Um, yeah, the, the only real imi uh, limitation I'm putting on myself is trying not to use outside game help that much. 
So, you know, this is all from memory, no outside game help, anything like that. I've beaten this game enough times where it shouldn't be an issue. And now we're back to the tube I broke. So, let's go use the save station. And we will continue exploring upwards. So, by the end of this area, I should have, I think, both the space jump and screw attack. Um, there is a missile up here that you have to get with shine sparking, but you have to know the precise place to do it. And it's annoying to do. You see how I'm falling through all these bricks? That's it, right there. But I don't really need the missile pack and don't care enough to try it, so I'm not going to worry about it. I am, however, going to go over here because I don't remember what's over here. Outside of a room I apparently have already been to. Oh, hey, that tunnel. Okay. Which actually means I can't get back now because it's a green one-way door. So I have to go down here. And go through all this again. Yay. Hooray for repet repetition. Look at me, I'm back in town in 1776. If anyone can't tell from the few references I've made, I'm watching South Park. Of course, all the references weren't in this video, but... I've actually been on a recording binge and recorded everything since the first video to this video all at once so far. See, there's the missile. And see it's speed boost, so you shine spark into it, and it gives you the missile. Freeze. I swear there's something over here. Again, I guess not. There's more super missiles, we'll get that in a minute. So this room can be kind of annoying just because you have to use so much of the grapple beam. I was about to say, I know there was something up there. Stupid lobster crab knockoff. And this is how you get that super missile we just saw. Baby, do do. 